Hello and welcome to the Gaming Chronicles. Today we will continue Might and Magic 3 Isles of Terra. So let's fire it up and get going. In our previous episode, we went to Castle White Shield and we looted all of its treasures. Uh, we learned about how King Zealot's wife um, had an orc lover. The orc was probably brutally murdered by the king and that that was the password for the treasure chests. So, uh, a very quaint little uh, domestic story to warm our hearts. Uh, but today we're going to go into Cyclops' cavern. And, <clears throat> excuse me, while this cavern is not necessary, uh, it's one of the, the bigger caverns in the game. It's one of the 32 by 32 um, grids. The whole reason we come here, as far as, you know, need to have items, need to do things, is to obtain the green eyeball key, I think. However, uh, because some of the hirelings come with some of those required keys that you need to get into the dungeons, uh, hold on, what coordinates are we at, 1423? This is one of those keys which comes with um, one hireling, I can't remember who it is. But we're going to do it anyway, because this is one of those games where you can you can easily, you know, do like 100% of everything uh, as far as like dungeons go. Okay, this is electric damage and six items. Let's make sure all of our buffs are still up, eh? Looks like we got all our buffs, yeah. And all of our dots are green as far as the four elements. Okay. Yes. Send in Sir Canigum. All right, that's fantastic. I can't remember what is in these bone piles. I should probably check to see if any of these chests are like cursed or anything like that. Let's see, any chests cursed? Nope. Gold and items and more items. Artifacts. Okay, that's good. And red pools. They give us items. Dying, a couple of these pulls give a lot of damage. Well, and that's if and that's if we don't have any resistances, though, right? <clears throat> like um, fifty thousand gold and five fifty gems, nice. So, like, uh, it looks like the damage ranges from two hundred to five hundred, but that is with no resistances. So, since we do have good resistances, like, see, Sir Kanagim didn't even take any damage when he waited in that pool. Or did he? Uh, maybe, but <clears throat> he certainly didn't take the uh, 200 damage that uh, he could have. Alright, I'm still honestly not entirely sure. Oh, we, we started at the fort. We didn't start on the west side, we started on the north side. I thought we started on the west side of the map. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay. <clears throat> oh, oh, bugaboos, good. Acid stream. Is this a cleric spell? No, it is a sorcerer spell, right? Right. So give it to Alan Bow. Jump scroll, we don't really... Everyone... Yeah. Fortunately, our clerics cannot... Uh, learn jump. It's a lot of shrooms. <clears throat> uh, doesn't the lore say that they're like witch tears that were mutated or hatched or something like that? Isn't that what we said earlier? Uh, nothing but bones. Ancient jewelry. A little bit of vendor fodder. Bones. Bones. Oh, hello, bugaboo. Didn't even see you there. Okay, 2729. What's in 2729? Electric damage and plus 20 electric resistance. So who do we want to give plus 20 electric resistance? Looks like everyone's pretty good. Probably uh, our sorcerer or 
Maybe our thief, the one who's responsible for opening up all of our chests, <clears throat> and who was constantly getting shocked and burned and frozen and all that stuff. Okay, that's the end of that one, right? Or is there further on? Ooh, there's more. What does it say? Ogres buried their treasure in the Valley of Trolls. Yes, we know. Thank you. Let's get that double shot off. Yeah, see, we got the bugaboos as well. And while they're a little bit higher of a difficulty level um, than the mushrooms, they're definitely not... Uh, a threat to us <clears throat> and maybe when the des the designers of the game what the green key is close at hand yep yeah, it is the green eyeball key that's what I thought um, maybe they thought that um, they would kind of scale the enemies in a manner that would make adventurers especially new adventurers right you know we're talking back when this game was new and there wasn't the internet, yeah, you didn't have many, if any, resources to, uh, you know, guide you along the game. Maybe intent was to, uh, oh wait, there's some bugaboos going up. Okay, where are we at, where are we at, where are we at? 2420. This one is electrical damage and 300 gold. So let's go ahead and, um, I want to see how well this resists. So your resistance to electricity is 107. You got 100 and, or 1073, and it didn't even damage him. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and take these enemies out first, and then 2220 is also electrical damage, which he should totally resist. Oh, mostly. Only took about 50 points of damage. That's huge. Uh, that's like 25% of the potential damage. <clears throat> no, not even that. Like, one-sixth. Uh, 2020, 2019. Four items. Okay. Alright, let's outline this big old room. Just to make sure we don't miss any bone piles. Because they tend to be on the corners and on the... At the walls. There's the green eyeball key. Even though we don't... Uh, we didn't need to get it this way. Fireball scroll. Sure. Uh, wait, hold on. Is there anybody who doesn't have it, actually? I think we bought it for everybody. Fireball. Yeah, we bought it for everybody, so whatever. Um, it's kind of it's kind of late um, coming into the getting the fireball scroll here. Okay, we've got all the pools, right? There's only three in the room. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> all right, moving on. What time of day is it? Oh, it's 10:43 p.m. Ouch. We took a long time getting here, maybe? I don't know. The Red Warrior's Key. Nice. I forgot that we even got that here. Can we teleport? One, two, three. Yes, we can. Avoid all that nonsense. Uh, ancient jewelry, lightning bolt, sure. I think, okay, I was going to say, I think that there is stuff up here. <clears throat> we'll just teleport four, because I'm pretty sure that, yeah, we'll just teleport past the Cyclops. Now, we've encountered them on that frozen aisle before. Uh, let's go ahead and head west. And... They can be difficult. 
if we don't have our this is a oh this is a bad pool this gives us a fizzbin of misfortune and eradicates somebody whoever wades into the pool gets eradicated 1021 uh, six items and 200 points of electrical damage <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Cyclops. You know, at this point, we probably don't need our hirelings anymore, but I mean, they've been along the ride with us for so long now that it's like, hey, let's not ditch them now. They're part of the group, you know? Alright, 10,000 gold, 300 points of electrical damage. He completely resisted that one. That's fantastic. Some more bugaboos and... Mushrooms. Oh, hello. Uh, 227 is what? 200 points energy damage and an increase of energy resistance. This is what I'm talking about. It's a shame that uh, it's so hard to find permanent energy resistance. Man, yeah, you can tell we are lacking. Okay, who needs it the most? I don't even know. Probably Tarleus or Sir Canigum. I don't know. Uh, maybe Alan Bow. Let's go with Tarleus. Yeah, nice. 30, plus 30 in energy resistance. 225. Um, electrical resistance increased. You're at 95, 90. Is there anybody that's like in the 80s? You are. Okay, let's go ahead and um, throw Castor in there. There we go. <clears throat> Gems and gold, very nice. Okay, I think we've gotten everything in this section. Yeah. Alright. Moving on. Oh, hello. It's a good thing we can two-shot those Cyclopses. We're going to bash this door just because we feel like it. Even though we didn't need to. Outline the room. It's just something that I do from my OCD-ness. Alright, 1030. 200 points magical damage and magical resistance increase. That is good. So who needs it? Everybody, I think, but who needs it the most? 50, that's pretty bad. 90, 75, hirelings. Mm, probably Tarleus, yeah? Yeah, let's uh, throw Tarleus in here. Didn't I see a chest? I thought I saw a chest. That I missed, that I didn't get. Am I going nutso? Huh, I must be. Alright. Moving on. Got more. We can just cast jump. Nothing but bones, nothing but bones, okay. Now this place is kind of big, let's make sure we don't miss anything. Oh, hello. Nice, we got him with an arrow volley that time. Time distortion? Uh... Oh, that's uh, time distortion, not mass distortion. Finger of death, uh, sure, we never use it. 
it's one of those spells that works, I don't know, like, 3% of the time, and if it works, it's like, oh, that's fun. Uh, but, but because the graphic effects are still pretty basic, um, and they're not, like, detailed, or have a level of uh, detailed definement, that's probably not a real word. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, it's just, like, a magical effect. 312 is 500 points of magical damage and personality. So we are throwing you in there. Nice. Getting closer to that ultimate level of um, ultimate level of uh, personality. Fantastic Freeze, that's Cleric, right? Or Druid? No, that's uh That's a sorcerer spell. What's the cleric equivalent? It's like I can't remember. What's the clerics that I'm thinking of? Not fire flail. Is it a druid spell that I'm thinking of? I don't know. I think so, though. Is it frostbite that I'm thinking of? It must be frostbite. Oh, hello. <clears throat> Castor is continually to get it, getting all of our melee kills because of our ridiculous buffs. And he still has that Platinum Dagger, right? It's not like he has an awesome weapon. Yeah, Platinum Dagger. It's just that he's got 198 might. <laughs> uh, plus, the, you know, the, there's the level you know bo boost as well. So, you know, he's attacking with 7 attacks and 198 might with the Platinum Dagger. Yeah, he's gonna toast anything. Well, not anything, but... Uh, a lot of things. Oh, that's right. We gotta do this nonsense. Uh. Oh, we don't need to do that. Oh, wait. Is there something? No, there's nothing there. Wait, what? Master all skills in the Halls of Insanity. Yep, that's right. We'll do that later. Was that a million gold? Dang. Nice. Gauntlets, longsword, blah blah blah. Okay, we're getting kind of full on our bags. Um. <clears throat> let's go back around. What time is it? It's 3.52. Mm. Alright, let's throw down a Lloyd's. Is it who's the who does the Lloyd's? Dang it! Who's who's the one that does the Lloyd's at the buffs? Is it you? D one zero. Yeah, I think it's you. So let's do F seven Lloyd's, and then Town Portal to Fountainhead. <clears throat> All right, let's reset the day. And there we go. All right. Uh, wait, why are we walking? We need to cast Lloyd's Beacon. Oh, wait. But we should probably empty our bags of stuff we know we don't need. So let's do a quick uh, overview of... Let's see, Coral Shield, I know I won't need that. Steel Plate Armor, I know I need, won't need that. Silver Long Sword, Iron Ring, yeah, I know I won't need any of that. Brass Cross, but we're still picking up brass stuff. And bronze stuff, really? Maybe the Steel Belt, just because I haven't kept a good mental inventory of what belts we have. Gold Robes, and eh, maybe. Ancient jewelry, get rid of that. 
Uh, let's see. Have any belt still crossbow? I don't know about that either. Uh, I know that we haven't had m a lot of upgrades to our. Um... Yeah, we need that. Even those lapis gauntlets, like, look at that. Yeah, iron gauntlets. I know that that is. That is better than her gauntlets. So yeah, we haven't had a lot of. We really haven't had a lot of upgrades. Um, just because we've been. Oh, we picked up an obsidian longsword. That's fantastic. Uh, however, do we already have obsidian ge gear? You have a kinetic saber. You have a gold katana. Oh yeah, that's an upgrade for sure. That is a fantastic pickup. Uh, give that immediately to Sircanigum. I'm sitting in ring mail. Nice. Gold cameo. Maybe. Platinum cutlass. Yeah, we don't need any one-handed weapons anymore that are less than like obsidian or or kinetic, really. If it's not kinetic or if it's not obsidian, we're not picking it up. <clears throat> okay. That'll do for now. We'll rearrange. We'll we'll do go further into that when we're when we're ready. Uh, for now, we need to complete the Cyclops Cavern and not run into the spikes that are jumping up at our face. Uh, let's jump. Hopscotch, hopscotch. Alrighty. All right, let me check my map. Um. All right, we got we got. Did we get all the chests? We got all the chests, right? I'm pretty sure we got all the chests. <sighs> Whatever. If we didn't, we're not going back. I would I would have been smart if I would have like marked on the actual printed out map. Little, little something um, to let me know where stuff is, but I didn't have that foresight. I began once upon a time. I, 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 can, I can tell where I got like tired of being diligent, of taking notes, <laughs> because um, wait, what's what was that? Uh, let's see. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, because <clears throat> I had all these very detailed notes on about, I don't know, half of my maps, and then all of a sudden they just stop. <laughs> like, I was, ouch, um, hey, come on, be smart. Uh, I was just tired of being so diligent, and I, f I probably figured, I'll just wing it, or, oh, surely I'll remember this the next time I want to play it, uh, but, uh, Obviously, uh, the wisdom of a of a preteen is that how old I was? I think I was even younger than that. I might have even been uh, in the single digits of years when this came out. Anyway, um, but I don't think I played it until I was um, older. Anyway, 2019. I'm looking to see what this is. This is 300 points of electrical damage and four items. Nothing in the pool. Oh, that's right. We already did this one. Then why? Oh, is it because we went in the circle thingy thingy? Yeah, we just teleported past it. I wasn't paying attention. We've already been there. Oh, come on. Silver Sacred Skull. Interesting. We've got more of those. Another Silver Sacred Skull. I thought we were done getting them. Wait, what? Those who have donated to the five temples will find the shrine in Cripple Creek. Most generous. Oh, that's right. Have we done that yet? Did we do that yet? I don't remember if we did that yet. Go back to the uh, the insect shrine. The To do that. Yeah, I don't remember. Anyway. I think the Cyclops King is around here somewhere. 
The thing is, the Cyclops King looks exactly like the rest of the Cyclopses, so um, if we accidentally kill him with our arrows before he hits, uh, you know, gets to us, then it's like, oh, you're dead. We never, knew. you know, nice to know you. 23-8, 500 points of magical damage and intelligence. All right, wait, what is your intelligence at actually? Okay. Nice. And there's nothing in that column. Okay. Cyclops. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is a pretty big room, so let's kind of circumnavigate it. Circum... Perimeterize it. I'm making up words here all over the place today. <clears throat> uh, we haven't been there yet, right? Yep, 28.3 is endurance. Is there anyone who actually needs endurance? Not really, because look at this. This is ridiculous. 179, 168. I guess we could give it to Tarleus or, or a cleric. Since they have higher levels. I don't know. If we give it to... Because Maximus is an ultimate. If we give it to Sir Kanigan, he'll almost be ultimate. So let's just go ahead and give it to Sir Kanigan. Yeah, 249. Oh, so close. One point of endurance away from ultimate. That's pretty good. Are you the Cyclops King? Probably not, because we took you out with a volley of arrows. 29-10. Uh, accuracy. Who wants the accuracy? Who needs the accuracy? Not really anybody, right? Um, but if I had to choose, uh, I guess Sir Canagam is fine. I'm trying to think if there are any, any enemies that require us to have ultimate level accuracy. I don't think so. I don't even think that we have to have plus 200. So let's just go ahead and give it to Sir Kanigam. 178. Yeah, that's good. Oh, wait, 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 what? Okay. Wait, what? The Cathedral of Carnage holds riches beyond compare for spellcasters. Yes, we know. Orb, axe, brooch, belt, bardiche. Alright. I think we've been everywhere. Alright, so we just finished off the big section in the southeast. <clears throat> Excuse me. And in the very southern part, southwest part, we did that. So I think we're good. What time of day is it? So I'm uh, barely 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we did all this. Did all that. Yeah, all the sections down there. I always make sure I double check everything here because the the, the dungeon is you know big and it's winding. Um, so yeah, I think we're good. We got the two keys. We got all the chests. I think we got the personality, intelligence, and accuracy, and endurance pools. Those were perhaps the most important buffs to get here. We got the silver skulls, we got uh, the spells, you know, all the spells were sorcerer spells. Interesting. <clears throat> and iron chests, I'm just making sure, because I believe that, if we look at our inventory, my tendency is to sometimes miss the, uh, the artifacts, so we've got, we should have two artifacts of neutrality in our bags. 
Uh, evil. Evil. There's another one. Okay. So I'll... Two neutrality and last. Then there's the good. Okay. So the evil ones we got at, I think, the castle white shield. Right? So... Yeah, we're good to skedaddle. So let's go ahead and... Town portal to Fountainhead. Actually, no. Let's Lloyd's Beacon um, to the uh, the Frozen Isle to recharge our. Wow, Sir Canigan had some uh, hit points down. About 800 down. <clears throat> Alrighty, so now that we've refilled our health, now we will return to Fountainhead to refill our spell points. We don't really need to uh, level up or train yet oh we're done okay uh all right so that will conclude the episode let me just see where we're gonna go next i'll just do what i've done the last couple times and throw us in front of the entrance ah the halls of insanity so that's our next stop let's actually do some bag management first um what time is it 355 p.m okay okay bag management here we go. Fun part of the game. Gold katana. Remove that and equip that beautiful obsidian longsword. Okay, radiating belt. What do I have? Do I even have a belt? I don't. So let's just equip that. Maybe I was supposed to equip that the whole time. Um, steel belt. Do you have a belt? Platinum belt. Okay. Precision orb, we don't need that nonsense. Ruby battle axe, ooh, that's good. Uh, compare that to, uh, I think both of these guys though have obsidian stuff. Dang, that is crazy that we're gonna be selling a ruby battle axe. Um, steel staff, yeah, we don't need that. Um, we're gonna sell that. Steel belt, okay, that's right. Broach of Jelly Swarm, for some, okay. Uh, let's see. Gold robes. Mm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Even though we, we don't need to. We really, really, really don't need to. Ah, acidic accelerates belt. So you have um, an ebony belt, which is like plus something AC. But really, we can, we can start to... Uh, or not just we can, but we should start to look for opportunities where we can switch out AC items, especially like Ebony's only, what, plus five? Plus four. You know, back at the beginning of the game, that was huge. Right now, though, we need to um, get resistances and stats. So, Acidic is only ten plus ten resistance. Uh, but what is Accelerator? That's not a modifier. I am... It's plus 23 speed? Oh, dang. Okay. Who needs speed? Let's see here. Um, probably everybody, to be honest. Actually, wait. Everyone's speed's above 80. For some reason, I, I thought that I, we would need to be at, at 120. But we don't. If I look at... The uh, the maze with the minotaurs and the medusae, <clears throat> medusae, medusas. Then I think we're okay. Let's actually look at the monster index. Um, at okay, so minotaur speed eighty, minotaur king eighty. Okay. And then Medusa, speed 60, okay. I think... Ah, uh, Octobee, speed 100. 
That's the one I was thinking of. So theirs is only 100, and I think they're the fastest enemy in the game. Let's see. Uh, what's another fast enemy? Um, Vampire King is only 40. Yeah, the vampires aren't bad. The, is it the liches? Oh yeah, Terminator is 200, but they can just... Whatever. Uh, I hate these guys. <laughs> yeah, Terminator is bad news. Hopefully we'll only have to fight a few of them. Uh, let's just... Speed is 50, okay. Kudo Crab, 80. Green Dragon... 60. What about the Dragon Lord? Where's the Dragon Lord? We passed it. Oh, speed 150. So, that's fine. If that's the only creature in the game besides the Terminators that are faster than us, Death Snake's 90, so. Okay, so we're, we're okay. We're just fine. Um,. Plus 23. Yeah, okay. So we'll go ahead and remove the Ebony Belt. Equip the Exidic Accel Accelerator Belt. Yeah, nice. And I think with that much... Um, did that actually increase our uh, AC because of the uh, bonus that the uh, speed gives us? No, it took us down by 3 AC. So we only lost 3 AC... But we gained. Oh, whoops. Ah, idiot. Yeah, we gained a whole lot more than we lost. Okay, uh, Ebony Belt. You don't have a belt. Steel Crossbow. Wind Bardiche. That's cool. But not the. It's too bad that modifier's on a weapon and not a piece of armor. Uh, Lapis Gauntlets. Alright, yeah, so we'll just go ahead and equip those immediately. It's only plus one, but it's still better. Better than not being better. And... I know I've been hanging on to this Noxious Padded Armor for a long time, because it's plus 30 resistance, right? We would lose... How much AC would we lose? Only six? Yeah, we're definitely doing that. Um, Obsidian Ringmail. Emerald Chainmail. Gold Chainmail. I think... Yeah, let's give the obsidian ring mail to you. So I'll go ahead and put the gold cameo on you. Uh, 135. That'll take us up quite a bit. Yeah, 148. Nice. Okay. Let's sell a bunch of stuff. Gold katana. That's lasted you for a long time. Uh, oh yeah, we've got to turn those skulls in. Steel belt. Oh. Oh, crap. I didn't check everybody's belt. Oops, I accidentally unequipped my ebony ring along with my ebony belt. That was silly. I still want the ring. I can have ten of them. Uh, gold crossbow. Steel. Does anybody have something worse than a... Yep, you do. Yeah, Lapos crossbow. That's a joke. Uh, it's kind of funny, though, how these low-level ranged weapons are working out for us. Just because of how good our our might and our accuracy is. Platinum gauntlets. Okay, yeah, we'll go ahead and pass those down to her. Uh, 
Yeah, there we go. Pass the potato. Ruby battle axe. That's kind of sad. But a good sign when we're selling... When we're selling anything of gold quality or higher, that's a good sign that your party's getting pretty, pretty beefy. Or pretty geared up, I should say. Okay. Um, exit... Yeah, I knew I forgot a couple things. Just a couple of useless items. Uh, steel belt. Does anybody have worse than a steel belt? I don't think so. You don't even have a belt yet. So... <laughs> let's give you that belt. Should have given you the ebony, but it's fine. It's like the same thing. Where'd it go? Ah. Okay, so much bag management. Uh. Okay, I think we're good with you. Yep, you're there. Okay, still crossbow. Yep. Precious pearl, blah, blah. My dear key, blue and holy key. Gold padded armor. Oops, we forgot to sell that. Oh well. Still belt. It's kind of crazy that you still didn't have a belt. And you have a lapis belt still. Oh man. <clears throat> okay, I said, um. Halls of Insanity, right? And the Halls of Insanity are in. Where are they at? Uh. I think they're in A3 or A2. Mm. Let me see here. And um, where is it? I don't want to just wander around like an idiot. Oh, it's in this pile of maps. Falls of insanity. A3, yep. Okay, so let's, um... Let's actually mirror to Baywatch. Oops. Uh, Sea Dog. What time of day is it? 7.04? Okay. A2... A3, and it's in 6-6. Six, six. So we need to... There it is. Enter... Now we'll just stand right outside. Oh, there's a screamer. Hello. Okay. Uh, save our game. Alrighty. Uh, Halls of Insanity will be our next destination, next dungeon, next place. Um, on the list. So, uh, we'll be fighting a lot of eyeball thingies. Alrighty, until then, and until our next episode, so long for now.